he had all the technique in the world let loose in free form. And, he, and the technique and the, the way he played it, a lot more technique of, of the rolling and whatnot and his beats and stuff. And you watched him play, he seemed more, that was his basis, which a lot of these players were. Because they didn't, when they're growing up, when they're little kids 10 years old, they, they didn't have rock and roll. They're listening to their parents' records or whatever. It was jazz-based, right? Is a very that was the popular record. music of the day. Ginger Baker took from jazz the razor edge of improvisation, which expanded the vocabulary of the drum set with an ever-growing arsenal of percussive sounds. Ginger, she changed everything so much. I mean, to me, when you, certainly we, when you, in the cream, I mean, he has such a distinct style. Up to that point, everyone was kind of playing, you know, we were really good at and, and he was so tribally. Well, Tom Toms. And Tom, Tom Heavy. Tom, Tom, Tom Heavy. Right. He didn't do that. And his, you know, half hour drum solos. Yeah, Double which bay. I, I used to dream as a kid. I used to when I'm when I'm growing up, I'm gonna play a seven-hour <laughs> drum solo. Yes! Then I grew that up. No one wants to hear, yeah.